first-hand memories of the strangeness of Unico. Soon, we have the chance to put our dollar behind a brand new Unicorn manga. Penned by Gorihiro and Samuel Satin, the project aims to bring back the joy dispensing Unicorn Baby. It's also giving me occasion to look back into my own experiences with original films and a boy that's unaltered some memories. We can probably all find some dark stuff in our childhood viewing, especially if we were kids of the 70s and 80s. I mean, knew, before I knew what an anime was, I was eating up these movies on Nickelodeon. Looking back and knowing more about Osamu Tezuka than I did when I was 4 years old, these flicks are both super merely weird and super merely Tezuka like. A tragic story. Tezuka has this way of putting perfectly lovely kids in terrible situations, and the unicorn manga and films are no exceptions. Our protagonist is a baby unicorn, but not just any baby unicorn. He has the ability to bring annual happiness. The gods are in too keen on this happiness. Happiness should be hard won after much suffering. They said, obviously, the kids gotta die. But the West Wind, tasked with disposing of him, can bring herself to it instead. She ferries him from encounter to encounter, saying one step ahead of the entities who wants him done away. With, he still get to do what joyful magic he was born to do, but he won't remember any of it. Mm -hmm. Forgotten friends. Unico ends up in all sorts of scrapes, and things get pretty dire. Take Kati Chako in original Japanese. For example, she's a little kitten who wants to become human. Our unicorn hero grants her wish, and she's immediately seduced by the forest's evil monster Baron. A fun and rewatch fantastic adventures. Curious if he was remembering the whole thing correctly. I was. Kitty gets hypnot drunk on forest berries that downs a whole bottle of wine. And then there's a I know the magic film, where he was to save a little girl from an angry puppet master, who also happens to be a mentor of her long lost brother. As the Unicorn's previous friends, their enemies will eventually be happy and they remember him fondly, and with the West Wind whisk him off to his next hiding place and forget them all. These movies are weird. The more anime you watch, the more you realize just how of the rails Tasuka was. Everyone who finally sits down to watch the original Kimbao comes away, changed when they discover he's just chilling with his dad's body and occasionally wears it, you know, the way you do. And then you see Baggy for the first time, and that's a whole other journey of discovery. And boy, Unico is just as weird. The bit where the little girl is turned into a bell button wearing dancing doll because otherwise she had to be turned into a dog boxy living puppet or the unforementioned monster baron preying on the unsuspected cat girl it's all in order from a Tessica joint. But what can you expect for Unico awakening? We know when the Kickstarter ghost leave this spring. Speaking of anime you grew up with, your house in the other one changed magical girl anime forever.